Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I'm going to do sort of a late night market update because we're seeing metrics change like crazy. Oil's up. There's all kinds of interesting things. If you like getting lied to, let's watch this. Um, right now we're at CNBC. Again, we're looking at pre-market. Uh, let's just look at the normal stuff right now. Dow futures are down a little bit, but across the board, everything's nominally higher. Okay, Very, really nothing. If we look at the bond market right now, uh, really want to show you that. Uh, the 10-year is starting to inch up a little bit, not too much, but I do believe it to go higher. I wanted to highlight a couple of things. First off, oil is up pretty nicely right now, 117. Brent crude just blew past 120. And if we're looking at the gold and silver markets, they're down, right? Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, though, what I think is very, very interesting. Right here, Treasury yields dip as key inflation metric shows possible slowdown in rising prices. And if you guys believe uh, our world leaders uh, or the Federal Reserve leaders saying that they've got this under control, I, uh, I, I'm going to tell you right now, this right here is going to get much worse in the coming months and the year. And I think people need to be very prepared for this. So here we go. U.S. Treasury yields slipped on Friday morning as fears over the Federal Reserve's plans to aggressively hike interest rates appeared to ease and a key inflation reading showed a slowing rise in prices. All right. First off, I want you to understand this right here. This aggressive hike, interest rate hike, they're not going to do it. They don't have the guts. This isn't 1980. They printed way too much money. This is not going to happen. And I'm going to be doing a video that's coming out tomorrow morning. Please keep an eye out for it about one of the Fed presidents. And you know you are in a crisis when the Fed presidents are coming out with all these different plans and ideas and thoughts, uh, and especially when they're coming out and saying things like, oh, we're going to uphold the dollar, we're going to raise rates, because that would be you know, strengthening the dollar, that this is rhetoric, okay? This is akin to what was happening when I was selling all my real estate, screaming at the TV when Ben Bernanke would come on to reassure the government, or the sorry, the nation. We have stemmed the tide. We fixed the whole mortgage-backed security debacle, and home prices can't fall all at the same time anyway. 100% wrong. Good news. He's got a book out. If you want a paperweight, check it out. I'm joking. I do not suggest that. All right. It says the yield on benchmark 10-year uh, treasury note moved lower by one basis point to 2.74, right? The yield on the 30-year treasury bond fell two basis points to 2.9. Yields more inversely. Yields move inversely to prices, and one basis point is equal to 0 0.01. Okay, most of us get that. This is a joke. I'm telling you right now, this is like that little bit of a lull, what I was talking about two months ago when uh, oil prices had spiked into the 130 range. And I said, okay, we're going to see oil come off its top because of profit taking, and then get ready, it's going to start taking off again. And we saw oil back down into the low 100 area. Um, as a matter of fact, I think it even hit like 98 at one point. And now we're starting to see it take off again, and it is going to take off. And this is something you need to watch right now. If the Fed does not come in and start buying up bonds, which I do not believe they're going to until a crisis happens, this is not going to stay low forever. And as you can see, going back into the markets right now, this was you know written like a day ago. And look, we're starting to move up again, okay? And I believe this is just, you know, don't take this as financial advice, trading advice. I'm just a dude with a bro hawk and a dream, you know, that thank heavens my uh, checkbook doesn't care about, you know, <laughs> what school I went to and what my degree was because I made my money when I was younger and I was a, an active investor. And I still am. I love investing. I love starting businesses. But I'm telling you right now, if these guys have, are pulling the wool over most people's eyes. Now, they're not pulling the wool over my subscribers. You guys have been with me long enough watching these calls I've been making. And again, it's not because I know the future and what's happening tomorrow. I know the long-term trend. You cannot print this much money and watch uh, inflation go away. OK, and you cannot print that much money and raise the rates and think, oh, yeah, it's not going to cause a recession. So, guys, I'm going to be coming out with a video tomorrow on um, one of the Fed governors, uh, Christopher Waller. I'm going to talk about his background, and we're going to talk about some calls that he's making. And, again, they're lies. But once you start seeing what these are, 
then you know how to deal with them. So I just want to make this quick video. Just thank you guys, everyone, for all the amazing comments, all the amazing hashtags you're putting underneath the videos, all the thumbs up, the subscribing. It, you guys are awesome. Ninja Nation are a group of amazing human beings worldwide. I speak that over you guys because you're going to keep coming up with witty ideas on how to make money and how to crush it as this market collapses. And we're going to buy up all their stuff. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out. <laughs>